There we go. There we go. Into the Paradise by William Orbit from the Virtuosity OST. Oh, fuck. Okay, so here's the deal. I promised myself for at least one video, I wouldn't hold back. Because I, I've been holding back a little bit. You guys are like, oh, you're ZSU, you love everything. Oh, ZSU, you're shill. Um, if you are allergic to someone who's trying to sell you something way too fucking hard, leave this video. I'll give you a few seconds. Go. Go take $600, roughly, and just go somewhere else. Go to Red Lobster. Buy a bunch of fucking cracked crab. Do something else with your with your money and your time than watch this video. Because I'm not going to do it for this one. I, I can't. I've undersold so many headphones. People get them like, holy shit, Zios, you undersold these. They're so much better than you said they were. And I do that on purpose. In my head, I'm like, all right, I'm excited, but I got to calm it down. I'm a professional. Fuck that. Fuck professionalism. Fuck. These, these are gold planar. Remember these little things? I talked about them in the headphone wall review. That should The wall should be out already. And I talked about the gold planar, and these are the GL400s, and they're little tiny planars. And I still own them because they're one of the best tuned little baby tiny planars. And I'm like, holy shit. And they're terribly built, and they don't articulate well, and they have, they're, but I have them because it was a reason. And then the GL600s, which were like the M565 mono price. Like, they, they looked like that, but they sounded so much better. And I was like, oh, shit. And I think I sold those in a yard sale. And I haven't heard about Gold Planner since. I have the little the one to the in here. I'll get to them eventually. Um, the thing that I said about these two headphones, that one and the GL600, which we'll have to imagine the fire, were that they are remarkably well-tuned. Like, tuned. Like, like tuning houses. Like, holy shit. This planar that should not sound this good has something done to it like when ryan and modhouse takes the t60s and turns them into the argons that is a tuning that is changing paperbacks and fi figuring out how much density of stuff to put behind it and if you need to move anything like that that's the tuning it's like here's a pile of shit now tune it until it's perfect and i talk about it ironically the sound demo for this by the way in the description and the, the links to this on hi-fi guide to the forum and things like that this is the exact same price for this two magnet version we'll get to it there's two versions there's a single version and a double version it's the same price as the apple airpod max and i had them at the exact same time so if you if I felt like i was a little bit more disappointed with the apple airpod max than i should have been blame gold planer and the gl2000s you see tuning can be done two ways, physically or digitally, I guess would be the other way to put it. Whereas like the Drop Panda uh, was, yes, it was a Bluetooth headphone. Yes, it had a that planar, that was a planar driver too. And it sounded amazing. And it was all done through physical tuning. They didn't DSP correct it at all because they're using AAA amplifiers. And it's like, holy shit, they did an amazing job of tuning that. Like with foam and distances and gapping and, and effort. Like, try this. Now try this. And then there was the Apple AirPod Max way of doing things where it's like, all right, put it in there and then load up the pre program that has 75 layers of EQ and just adjust all the things. Does it sound good now? And then clean it up. And then just apply this fucking curve. And that's that can work. The Bucart S5, A500s behind me, way, way behind me, work. But it's a little different with headphones and speakers because with speakers, you're dealing with the room and there's still a liveliness about the sound because you're always out here. With a headphone, it's just your ear and that much space. So if you tune it digitally, it's sort of like... So tuning something naturally is the way to go. And I'm only bringing this up for this fucking long-ass conversation because these are the best tuned set of fucking headphones I've ever heard in my life. Ever. Ever. No fucking, no holding back, no like, well, it's sort of like really up there. Fuck you. 90% of my wall could disappear tomorrow and I wouldn't have a problem with it as long as the GL2000s exist. You think I'm LCDX, are you? Don't. GL2000s. Oh, what's that? You, you're like, you want uh, ATH A. AD 2000X because you want that perfect imaging? No, why Why aren't you buying these instead? Fuck you, these. Should we start with the... Right, first of all, let me. there was a misunderstanding when I got them. You see, uh, Lin Sol sent them to me. 
and they asked me if I wanted the gold planar, you know, geo whatevers. And I was like, yeah, sure, absolutely. Fuck, I love gold planar. You know, they did some really good stuff. And let me see if I could search it out, because it's on here. Uh, there it is. Okay, so... I briefly glance at Linsol and I, I type in Gold Planar, and that one pops up. Gold Planar GL850. Ignore the numbers. And it's $1,600. $1,600. And I'm like, holy shit. Yes, go absolutely send me the new Gold Planar. So I didn't know there were two expensive Gold Planars. $589 for the single magnet. If you go double magnet, $639. I didn't know that. I got these, and they arrive in this fucking box and there i'm like oh my god like because i'm like in my head i'm like how much was it 1100 1200 dollars right 1100 1200 dollars is, is yeah okay that makes that makes sense and i pull out the wire and um this wire is exactly what i've been praying on the mountains for it's 4.4 pentacon to an eight weave uh vinyl wire which is silver, apparently. It's silver OOC fucking stupid shit. That's exactly the right length. It's it's 72 inches long, because if I stretch it out, I'm using one of my arms. It's perfect. It's got a beautiful long split. It's very simple. It says GL, which is good. It's a GL 2000s. So they don't say gold planner. We'll get to like the branding. Now there is none. It, the, uh, uh, it, it's at three and a half millimeter plugs. One's marked with a very dim red. It's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, this wire. This wire is my perfect headphone wire. It's what I've been asking for. By the way, this particular wire, um, I yanked it, and one of the sides stopped working. So, don't worry. The install said they sent me another one, and that's fine because I want that wire. I'm currently using a Jerry the Cable Guy wire, which is this one, which is still a nice wire, but that wire. So just straight off the bat, I'm I'm in my zone of like these are eleven hundred dollars. These are eleven to twelve hundred dollars. I don't remember the price. I don't like knowing all the features and facts. And I just want to experience the product. That's how Zeos does Z reviews. He says yes to something. He closes his fucking eyes. He uses it. Then he comes back to the review desk, and when it's time to actually, you know, talk about it, I double check the price, double check the facts, make sure everything I'm talking about is going to be mostly accurate. I can't be fully accurate. I'm human. But I had to link these in something because I used them in a review. I was like reviewing some fucking IFI product or, and I plug these in and I'm like, oh, I got to link them. And I'm looking and I'm like, wait, these aren't the 850, which again, why have the 400s be the little guys? Then the 600s be like the decent, like this was like 250 bucks. Those are decent guys. And then you have the 2000s here for 600 or roughly 600, depending on which magnet thing you get. And then the 850s. Which are sixteen hundred fuck seven hundred dollars? Why is the lower number the higher price? I don't get it. I don't. But I went into the review of these. I went into the listening of these. I experienced these, thinking they were twelve hundred dollars, and I was going to give them my full fucking pass. So to my fucking massive astonishment, when I looked it up, I'm like, wait, because they look real similar. Like, there's the 2000s, there's the A50. There's the 2000s, there's the A50. Those aren't even planar. These are the most expensive planar that gold planar makes. Those use a full frequency headphone with an air motion transfer driver. They use one of those. The tweeter, like in a goddamn Emotiva, and it's $1,600. So it's like, mm, I haven't got that yet. And you know what? Having heard, what were those big stupid ones that everyone was like, oh my God, it uses an AMT. The big ones that everyone was talking about at Can Jam before the world went to shit. I don't like the way those sounded. You know which ones I'm talking about. The, 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 they look the brick, like bricks in your head. I don't like the way those sounded. I was like, I was pass on those pass. So I don't, I don't, there's no fucking way that that is going to compete with this. Nothing's going to compete with this. Let me let me get into the description of sound now. You can see people you want to you guys who want to get those up votes, you want to put the timestamp to now. These sound like every amazing headphone I've ever owned or wanted to own. They have the most sound stage. See us, what has the most sound stage? Ah, uh, uh, these. Um, what about like are they good at imaging? Yeah, yes, these these. There might be some headphones that image slightly more accurately, because the soundstage compared to these is like fifty percent. Like the the, the two thousand Xs with the giant pads in them, there's no soundstage comparatively, none. 
This, these, these make our guns sound like they're tiny. These make our guns sound like HE600s, which is only applicable to headphone people who have heard both those things and know what I'm talking about. It's otherworldly what these sound like, because they're not small in the slightest. That's another thing. We're talking about like HE1000 large knit. Like this is ridiculous. Like uh, this is, this needed the case just to transport it to me. Should I pull a head? What's another big headphone? Let's get off the wall. I have a wall. What's another big headphone? Here, here. The other, only other headphone I'm probably going to mention in this video is like the Zeus. Because I gave the Zeus a fucking mega pass. We're 500, dropped to 350. Concert hall in your head, amazing. Can we just look at the size comparison? Holy God. Holy God. I didn't even put them side by side before this review. I was just like, oh, Jesus, shit. I, I don't even know the dimensions of the driver in this headphone, but it's massive. And it comes with two pairs of pads. It came with these on it by stock. These are like, they say leather. I always have doubts, but this, this feels more like leather than this does. This is very, very fucking soft. We'll get to the build and shit. It doesn't matter, sound. Sound first. I love them with these. I really did. I was like, oh man, this is fucking good. But they came with these pads also, which are a huge hybrid pad. Like, look at this fabric, perforated outside, solid inside, like thick as shit. They're, they're, that's like five and a half, six inches of headphone there. That's, that's I can't grab my hand around it. And you put those pads on it and it becomes a little more airy, a little more open. And when you're a giant fuck you open back planar, getting more airy and more open is like, what? Why? And to, I, I plugged into several amps, obviously. I had it on the IFI stuff upstairs. I had it, I think I had it on my Motu M2 for a little bit. And I, I pretty much, the, the bulk of the listening I did to this headphone has either been down here on the Liquid Gold X, which is like the $1,000, very warm sounding uh, balance amp, or obviously the topping A90 for that complete linearity. And I prefer it a little bit on the warmer side amp than that. So it does take, it tastes a little bit of the amplifier, just tastes. Um, the one that I, if I have to put this on a headphone right now, on an amplifier right now to show somebody, like, hey, I need to have my whole shit ruined, Zeos. See all this stuff you got? Ruin me. These on the Death on Ray Honey H1, ruinous. I wish the original wire worked on it again, because then I could use a 4.4 pen. Oh, God. Ruined me. For the whole year. 2021's fucking ruined now. I'm not going to like any headphones. And if I do, it's going to be like, oh, these are absolutely competent. Oh, the low end. All right, I described the sound to DMS, because DMS and I are colleagues. We, we we run very different styles of channels, but when you're talking about headphones versus headphones to speakers, you, you kind of have to get a common ground. So I just, he hasn't heard these yet. And we he hated the Civica Phoenix and I liked them, but he and I both agreed, in fact, I think everyone's agreed that the Harmonic Dyne Zeus is like a fucking amazing buy at 350. And it absolutely is to this moment. So if we agree on that, and then I describe the sound of this to him. He's like, well, that sounds like you're describing compression. And I'm like, but dynamic range, bro. Because I'm hearing things in music. The sound demo, by the way, in the description, please. I think it sounds better than the TH. It might be the best sounding sound demo I've ever done. Or that the microphones have ever accomplished. I don't know how you want to put that in perspective. I, was he I actually paused the sound demo several times because I was listening to these headphones through my Neumann microphones, through a Zoom recorder's output into my Neumann NDH20 headphones and going, holy shit, I know what that sound is now. Uh, Marilyn Manson's uh, Four Rusty Horses. <clears throat> there's like a squeaky sound. I've always heard the squeaky sound. And there's a kick drum. And I realize that's the physical pedal of the kick drum. I hear the mechanism. I could hear through these, through that, through another set of headphones, the physical mechanism moving, and I'm like, what? And I'm sure shit, I put the mic on here, I put that song on, and I hear it obviously a little bit clearer than that, but it's there. There is stuff happening in the background. All right, I gotta go back into sound more. I wanted to just move on, but when people went nuts for the high feminine aria, my entire $10 patronage chat, the big chat that everyone pays to be in, 
which by the way, there's now a lifetime chat. So if you've been supporting me for a long period of time, you are just in a chat. I think it's $300 a lifetime because people you know, pay $10 a month. You're there for two years, that's $240. Maybe you moved to subscribe star or something. I calculate out, you're, you're in it. You're in it forever. I'll never delete it. Those people fucking love the Aria. They were like, that was their high horse. The highest of horses was the Aria, the high feminine Aria. And the way that Skedra, the guy who builds the cables, who's a little bit obsessed, described the Aria was not how I heard the Aria. Aria, he, eh. But the way that the people describe the Aria is how these sound to me. Layers. Layers. It sounds like I'm wearing six headphones all at once, all in slightly different positions and further out and further in. And sound can magically move across the plane of all of these headphones. Things that, that should be far away just are. Things that should be close are. Things that move from here. Things have moved across that I've never paid attention to. Then it's like this little speaker comes in. Like this pops up and it's in the back. It's like, by the way, I'm going to be like a little tick that you've never heard in this song before. But it's obviously when he hits the cymbal and it's, I'm going to bounce right here. I'm going to be right behind your ear. And I'm like, where the fuck is that sound coming from? These are the biggest sounding headphones I've ever heard and they lose nothing in detail. That's impossible. It's impossible. You can't take a set of speakers you like and then move two feet further back and 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 two feet further back and, further back, and they sound just as clear. You're eventually just gonna, they're just too far away. But these have moved like twice as far away as any other headphone I've ever listened to. And I don't know if it's just the physicality of the driver being back there because I could see it, I could touch this, but then it goes even further into, it, it's so far away from my head. And it it only sounds the, the better or the same. I don't know what they did to tune these, but every frequency from sub bass to the, and here's another thing, sharp highs, all right? Because that's usually the downfall of, of like when you get to a planner and you start turning it up, it's like, okay, how's the civil and CO's? Because that matters. And to some people, they might be too sensitive to really crank up any headphone. But me, who who knows the line? I know the fucking line. I know where the fucking line exists. I invented the line. I know where the line exists. These have never hurt me. And that brings a fucking, like a legit tear to my eye. Speaking of tears, I kind of was crying a little bit in the sound demo. The very last song, I didn't change. I never do that. I do like between a minute and a minute and 20 of a song and then move on. The last song on the sound demo, I'd run for four minutes straight because I wanted to hear it. I think I wanted you to hear it. These fucking things have ruined me. Ruined me. And I don't know what those AM... I don't trust the AMT ones yet because that's a completely different technology. That's like Bugatti coming out with supercar after supercar. And then all of a sudden they have like the food blender. And I'm not going to like throw my trust into the food blender. What the fuck do you know about making food blenders? So AMT is a completely different thing. I'm not. I'll get the 850s if I have to buy them with my own money. Not even Patreon money. I'll sell something. My cat. I'll loan my cat out for cash. No, it's too much COVID. I won't loan my cat out for cash. But I don't need shoes. I'll just sell all my shoes. Whatever I got to do to afford those and a mortgage payment, I will do to get those fucking 850s. Well, I think after this, I think gold planners will be like, who is this guy? Send him things. Couple caveats. Okay, so the wire failed on me. I'm blaming me on that because I, I I did a thing where it, I yanked it once and it sort of was like spotty and I'm like, uh, do I want to resolder this? No, just tell him to build me a new one. The wire's fucking great. When I was doing the sound demo, I was noticing the headphones were sitting crooked on the fucking thing. They were like, like that. And I'm like, I can't stop the sound demo. So this bit here... This stainless steel, beautiful, like that's, the build is, I should probably do the entire build, but we'll talk about this being, this was unscrewing. Like, th it's the same as with uh, ZMF stuff. ZMF headphones have one little screw that, that, that see that bronze shaft that coming down? There's one little screw that you screw up to hold the, the C, the yoke on. And you have to check that, because it's a little lock washer, but it gets loose and you gotta go and just tighten it up, or else it, it fits funny. Well, this... I've been using it for two weeks, and I had to tighten it up. The only problem is it doesn't use a regular screwdriver. It uses a hex, a, a hex um, like an Allen key, that I don't have. And I had to end up jamming a T8 star bit in there. But you can't use a screwdriver because the angle is never not into the driver. So I had to get in here and just, just tighten this up. And then I think I got a wrench. Because his little rubber 
gasket. So this does move. It's designed to move and wiggle around a little bit. That's how it, is this loose again? I can't tell if it's loose again. Like it's designed to move that much. It doesn't lay flat and it's designed to wiggle just, just a little, just, mm, there's just a little bit of wiggle in there and I want there to be less wiggle, but it's there. And you got to check on yours because it's, it's not like they're using cheap shit. Like yes, these are made in China. How can you tell? Here, I got this piece of paper with the, in the box. Everything's Chinese except for this gold planner GL2000 was handcrafted in Huzhou, China. Serial number, just Chinese, just chi Chinese everywhere. So gold planner is a very, very Chinese. But they don't feel like they cheaped out on the build of this. That's a problem. That's a looseness problem. But at least you, like it didn't fall apart. I just noticed it. I was like, hmm, that gap. Actually, you can see that gap's a little bit bigger than this gap. So I got to tighten it again. But um, like this is metal. This is all metal. It's got very, very, very positive clicks and positions. There is no labeling on this. It doesn't say gold planar. It, it, these are gold. I love this patterning in the back. Look how little material is between the driver and the outside air. They probably could have left these off, but it would have looked weird and boring. Maybe probably wouldn't even have been strong enough to like grab like that because it's such a, a fine mesh of things. Down here, that's where it says GL, the same marking that it has on the, um, where's the cable middle? Right there, little GL. In fact, it's the same fucking size. That's all you get. If you found these at a bus station and you went to look up what they are, you'd have no fucking idea. They have an R, they have an L, they say CE, and they have the little recycling, but like, don't recycle these for whatever reason. Just throw them in the ocean, let the birds eat them. They're very understated. Understated as fuck. I kind of want them to have more. I kind of wanted to come with stickers and shit so I could wear a gold planer t-shirt. Because these are that level of fucking amazing. I, and I love the fact that I was so worried. Because here's the thing. When I put a, a headphone like this onto the sound demo rig, the uh, magnets, planar magnets, planar magnetics. That's what there's giant rows of magnets. And those microphones are also magnetic and they use a little uh, diaphragm and it measures with the magnet. So when you put magnets near my good fucking microphones, usually what happens is this. Yeah, it sounds beautiful until you put a magnet on it and it sounds like, then I have to fucking EQ the output and then get into post and EQ it, try to repair the output so it doesn't fuck with the magnets. It's a mess. Planars are usually a mess. I slip this over the microphones it was perfect because I think the dual magnets are so strong. I need a thing to demonstrate this. There we go. Well, here's a screw bit. And I know fucking DMS is like, whoa, with, with our... Uh, Abyss headphones, you could stick them to the side of a car. And I don't think they'll stick to a side of a car, but that is a lot of magnetism. That is a metal fucking screwdriver bit. It's just like, it wants to be inside it. So these have some, should I do it? I mean, that's, it's, it's sticking to it. I don't think it'll stick forever, but yeah, no. These should not be $600. Which they should be two thousand. They should be a thousand dollars minimum, because whenever you have a budget from now on, that's like, hey, Zios, have like fifteen hundred dollars to spend these. These. Stop asking me, Sundaras? No, these. I know they're more than the, two prices. All right, single single magnetic and circuit and double magnetic circuit goes from five eighty nine to six thirty nine on. Uh, Linsol, which by the way, how many people have had any problems with Linsol? Because I've been using them, I've been working with them for a while and they're super nice and they always get back to me and their shipping is let's say not stellar but it usually arrives and I've heard people give me horror stories that it takes like two, three months sometimes for things to arrive or they never arrive so in the comments, I'll let Linsol, Linsol will see it Just, you know, because I want them to improve because if this is the only fucking place you can get these I need them to be better about it but yeah, okay, single magnetic or double magnetic. I wasn't sure which one they sent me. They sent me the double, which is slightly more money. And as far as the specs go, the difference is on the single magnetic version, they're 95 dB per watt. And on the double version that these are, they're 99 dB per watt. So you gain four decibels of uh, sensitivity. They all claim four to 50,000 hertz. I believe the four. Bitch, you don't even know. 
the sub bass on these. These are everything the HE-1000s from Hyperman should have been, but never were. They were like, oh, they sound really big. You know, they sound really big. But they were never impressive. And then you had like the Arias and the, um, what's the other fucking ones that are all in the same shape. The, the ones, I love the ones from that Drop put out because, you know, they were the right price. The ones that Drop put out were $600. Maybe they weren't as good as the HE-1000s or the Aria, but they were close and they had to be... These are destroy everything Hi-Fi Min makes. Th they might destroy everything Odyssey makes. I don't say that lightly because Odyssey is a fucking American company and I'm an American. I love my American, American, American. And the LCD X are the best thing that they make, though. Here's the thing. I know from experiencing the 4 and the 3 and the 2 and the 2C and the fucking... I know the X is like the butter zone. I know people who have bought all of them. And they're like, no, the X is the one. They sell everything else. So to say that this rivals the LCD X means that this would be better than everything Odyssey makes. And that's fucked up. And that's me not holding back on a fucking recommendation. Because this doesn't make any sense. Like, it is it is not just like 10% better in something. Or 5% or better in something else. Or I take a compromise. This is better a headphone than all the headphones. Period. Now, I'm sure someone's going to have it. And they're going to be like, Zios, you're insane. Because this is definitely not the most linear sounding. And I, the, the, the measure is completely wrong. I don't give a flying fuck about measurements. I never have. Because you could show me the fucking RPM measurement chart of a horsepower of a Ferrari. And you go like, oh, here it is. It peaks here. And this is where the, the most torque is located. And then you can compare that to a 911 Porsche and go, well, obviously this one is better for what. No, there's a million other fucking factors beside the measurement of the torque curve. The way it fits, how far it is, what you can't measure imaging and soundstage. There's just no graph for that. There's no graph for that. There's no graph for showing you how when the low end hits, how long it rings out because the driver is either tighter or there's no graph for that. And it doesn't, and then you'd have to graph every headphone on every amp that has a slightly different because that's why I'm on the Liquid Gold X and not the out topping A90, because I like that. You can't. You can't science these into your head. You have to just listen to them. I could describe the most beautiful woman on earth until you're at dinner with her and you're feeding her spaghetti like in the Lady and the Tramp. You don't know if you love that woman or not. I, I could write up a whole fucking paper on it. It's called fan fiction. I don't do fan fiction. Please, for the love of God, do not write a Chewbacca fan fiction where she turns into a real person and then seduces me. That would be terrible. And I don't even know why I brought it up in this, but it probably because this will be a real popular video and someone's going to fucking do it. And I think it'll be hilarious. In fact, I'll have Princess Pasta read it as humanoid Chewbacca. Chewbacca loves you all, by the way. Um, Jesus, we we are we are way way off on a tangent. This is why I try not to get unhinged on a thing or really push like a full like stupid recommendation for a product. Like KPH thirty i Ultras, the, the little KPHs with the with the big fucking Grado pads. That's an easy one to go all out, balls to the walls, because the most you have to lose is like 35, 40 bucks. If they're off sale, they're like $30 for the headphone and the pads are like 12. Eh. So what, if you don't agree with me, you buy it, eh, I don't like this, you give them to someone. This is 590 to $600. The fact that the only thing that changes between the dual magnet and the single magnet is efficiency. I don't know if I trust the single magnet version to be as good as I'm describing. Because that's the thing. Now people are going to go out and buy it, and they go, oh, I'm not going to spend $60 to have it be slightly more efficient. I'll just turn my amp up more. I, I can't verify personally that that's all the that change. When I messaged Lynn Sol, they said, yeah, all it does is change the efficiency. But you're, you're having the magnets, which means the amount of force that's going to be pulling back and forth is going to be half. Like, it's got to be more. I'm going to recommend the double magnet version just because if you get the single and you don't like it as much as I like these, then maybe that's the thing. Maybe I'll ask them for the single magnet version, or maybe I'll just buy it outright, because fuck, and just to try it, because I mean, I'll, I'll keep the single magnet version in my bathroom, double magnet version on my desk. I'm, I'm, ast I'm astonished by these headphones. By the way, um, aren't as heavy as they look. They're huge, but these are comparable in weight. Like even with double magnet version, they're not, they're nowhere near LCDX weights. Like, I don't think I could even beat you to death with these if I hit you with them. That's, that's important, Mark. Put that on the bullet points. It doesn't, probably won't even be uh, deadly if used as a weapon. The, uh, the three and a half millimeter ports are, are 
plain Jane. Like, there's nothing fancy about it. I'm sure it's different on the fucking GL850s, which I have no idea. What's the difference? Like, why do you power AMTs? Like, I don't understand. I mean, do we even look at the build? Like, this is aluminum. This is aluminum. Or this might be steel just for strength. This probably aluminum. This, this is actually, I can't tell. Is that plastic or aluminum? Like I, oh, I can't bend it. It's aluminum. So everything's metal. It's all metal straight down. It's got that weird, like, like it could be plastic. It looks like the, it looks like you guys. Where the hell are you? They are the Tackstar Pro 80s, Pro 82s. They look like that silver plastic. It kind of looks like silver plastic. So, the, but it's all metal. This headband is giant and cushy. Cushy on the top and the bottom. Actually, more cushy on the bottom than the top. How many fucking headphones do that backwards? Look, look how much give is up, is up here. Yeah, and I was considering for a second Dakoni Nuggets just, just to sort of, because when you wear them on your head, you, you do get it sort of like it flattens out. I was just thinking maybe about Nuggets on the side, just for, but they're fucking comfortable. They don't weigh too much. My ear, I mean, we want to talk about the knuckle size. That is a four-fister knuckle in there, and that's on both pads. It's it's three. Three is way too much. Four. I haven't had a four knuckle in forever. Take that into context, please, God Almighty. Um, yeah, no sound. Sound is uh. almost indescribable like what it does like because it it does if it's doing compression if there is compression on the sound like dms has said there was where it's like oh it's bringing the quiet sounds up and it's bringing the loud sounds down then i'm fine with it because if this is what compression can do with a properly tuned headphone compress all my shit brah brah fucking brah like i i can I, I haven't even played music usually i'm i'm yelling with the music playing but i i just Girl is mine, Michael Jackson. It, it sounds like there's 12 individual drivers in different locations, all playing. Like, there's the kick. I was listening to, oh, fuck, what song was playing? Can I back it up that far? Beatles? No, I think it's magic. It's just jumping around. I was listening to a song where there was drums, like, fucking, like, like drums playing. And they definitely recorded the drum set with stereo mics, like, right in front of it, behind it. And every drum that was being attacked was localized in my headphone. From far left to slightly left to left and down. I don't know how the height's being translated, but it was everywhere. I've never heard that before. Like, I've heard, like, left and right drums. Like, yeah, left and right drums. But to actually break it apart in loca lo locations, like, there's multiple drivers in here is fucking insane I'm gonna wait wait I think it's control R will shuffle Maisie star dark night buyer beware there's just this low rumble in this beginning of the song it's like Whoa. it's like that low rumble that usually I have to have a 15 inch fucking powered sub that just sort of like Whoa. that's how I know these are doing four and they're not doing four, like, oh, barely four. They're doing measurably down to, like, I'd say 15 decibels. Not 15 de 15 hertz. I'm saying they're gonna, they have to be, or you measurement people can come out now. Fine. Come out of the closet. Come on. Does this go flat to 15 hertz? Of course it might. Like, there's just this, like, breathing. Like, I feel the music breathing on me. Like, if you're standing in, like, a, a scary basement and you're looking around the corner and all of a sudden a dragon is behind you and you're just, like, you, you're all the hairs stand up on your fucking arms and shit because you're like, oh, Jesus Christ. And you're just like, oh, like, oh, fuck. That's what these sound like. The, just the, that's just describing one small segment of the sound that these produce. The low end is... It's just, I don't want to say it's biblical, but it's there always. Like whatever is supposed to rumble in the background, rumbles in the background. Like you've got a subwoofer in a room. And then there's like, like every song, every single song I've listened to these on, I've, I've stopped enjoying it 
because I'm like, okay, wait a second. What is happening that's different than every other headphone that I've ever listened to this on? Because now I'm listening to just, and I've heard the Dark Knight soundtrack a million fucking times, but there's like these little like ghost sounds and they're sliding in and out. They're not just happening. And they're not just happening here. They're happening out and then just like, it's, I don't even know if you could mix music to do the things these do, All right? So I'm sorry for everyone who wants to buy these and they're no longer in stock. Cause I'm pretty sure Lin Sol was like, Hey, do you like them? Do you think we need to order more stock? And I'm like, bitch stock up, stock all of it up all the way to the ceiling. Cause, uh, they're coming for your, your hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wallet. Gold Planner 2000s are coming, which actually this is my second 2000 that has blown me away like this because the Audio Technicas are a 2000. Anything else up there? A 2000? Anything else got numbers in the thousands? That's a thousand. Oh, those have stupid names. 909s is not even a thousand. I mean, pff, who would he? HP3. Come on. How good a headphone going to be if it only has a three? You need in the multiple thousands to really make me pay attention from now on. Skipping to the next track. Every song. It's every fucking song. It's every fucking song. Is like, holy shit. It's like the notes are longer. I don't know. I can't describe it. I need to do more LSD. And then I could talk about, I'll like write things down with crayon while I'm being chained to a radio. Like, yo, my God, the sound is fucking, I could smell it. It smells like popcorn. Like it's just, there's just sounds that are happening more depthfully than I would normally hear in just a headphone where it's like, okay, I'm presented with sound and here it comes. This is just like big wall of shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these, these, yeah, that's the Halo OST, by the way. Perchance to dream is just like a boom, ch -ch -ch, boom, ch -ch -ch, and I hear all of it. I don't think, maybe they're not accurate. I, I don't even care if they're accurate. That's the thing. That's the thing about zero views. Welcome to zero views. I don't give a shit if a headphone is accurate or if the fucking frequency response is screwed up or if it has uh, bad impedance matching. I care about if I am fucking interested in the sound that I'm listening to, no matter what it is. If I'm, I'm listening to Nyaners sing on fucking a VTubers sing, I want to, if I'm interested in the way it sounds beyond the actual source material, because a lot of the audio files are like, no, I don't want to hear my speakers or DAX or anything. I just, I just want the music. I want all of it to go away. I just want the music. Harder for me to do because it's my job. Great for you guys. You, you guys can get this shit and forget you're using it. Just get your amp. Get your DAC, which by the way, I'm using the JNOG DAC, which I think is going to be sold out because according to Gishelli Labs, they know they just can't get them anymore because of chips. So if you bought the JNOG, congratulations. So I'm using the JNOG into the Liquid Gold X, into this, and I can't stop hearing everything. And I'm just going to give it my review. I'm going to go 45 minutes right now. Well, how, how long? How long? It's been a while. I feel I could keep talking. I could do this for two fucking hours. Because all I got to do is put the headphone back on and be like, well, I think I'm wrapping up. Don't forget to check out Patreon and subscribe star and uh, check out Hi-Fi Guides. The forum is doing great. If you want to be in the $10 chat and then I'll do this. Major laser, baby. <laughs> ah, just every. Oh my goodness. You are built in auto tune. Major laser baby, by the way. Just that baby went from like dead center of my head crying to then they put on like the auto tune, like with expander, and the baby exploded. A baby just exploded in my head. Like the echo came in, like, the, like, if, like if all of a sudden you took a, a crying robot baby and then shoved its head into the Grand Canyon and just let me hear it for a second. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. There's no end to this review in sight because I could just next track. Everlong from Foo Fighters, the live version. Guy clapping just to my left. Just, uh, that, uh, that one asshole, you're finally famous. Yeah, uh, okay, I'm done. Before I say, before I start getting into weird analogies that make you wonder if my mental state is fine, 2021's here. Everything's going to be great. Everything's going to be great. In fact, start of 2022, someone come back here, set a reminder on your phone to come back and comment, 
Zeus, you're right. 2021, best fucking year ever. And by the way, I bought the gold planner, uh, GL 2000s. So, so, I mean, I, I don't know what else to tell you. Get them. It doesn't matter. You, try them with these pads first, the stock pads. I prefer the bigger pads. Just more, bigger. Just fucking more bigger. Stock wires, perfectly fine. Uh, I use them on multiple amps. You you can't break them for sounding good. No matter how cheap. If you have a you have a Magni One amplifier, uh, shit Magni One, these will still sound amazing on it. You might want to think about upgrading that. But I'm not going to tell you that, like, especially with the higher the double magnet version where it's more efficient, because you don't really need the power. I'm running low gain, 12 o'clock on this. Uh, I was doing, actually doing low gain on the topping A90, but at like 130, because when you switch to medium, it was like, oh shit, it's too much. Don't believe me. I'm human. I'm fallible. Listen to the sound demo. Listen to the same sound demo as I used for the incredibly not great and I'm gonna do that review soon, Monoprice Bluetooth headphones, which is like, if you wanna know the baseline for low, <laughs> that's it. And then the competent but bland uh, Apple AirPod Ma AirPods Max, and then these. Those three sound demos use the exact same tracks. You could open up all three in fucking FUBAR or no, in Firefox, which by the way, support Firefox, apparently they're having financial problems. Um, you go open up all three and you listen to song one, Okay, pause. Song two. Okay. It sounds much better on the AirPod Max. Okay. These. Holy fuck. Fuck. Just fuck. Because somehow these translated through the microphones into a very, very narrow, neutral sounding set of Neumanns. And I couldn't stop listening to it. And then you take them off that and you put them on your real head and it's even fucking better. Buy these. No holds barred. No, no apologies. No like, oh, it's up to you if you could afford it. Just buy them. Ruin yourself. Because th that's an, I will warn you, though, I don't know if these are going to be beaten anytime soon. And I said that on other headphones. But, but this is serious business, boys and girls. I don't know what the, I don't want to meet the gold planner people and shake their hands and then wash my hands vigorously and then shake it again and wash my hands vigorously. Because these fucking things, it's like six or seven of my favorite headphones rolled into one. It's just like, okay, those, and then ooh, that. Oh, we'll take the imaging from those. And the, the bigness of that, but we'll double it. It's like, I, and then the, 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 the Hi-Fi-Min Sundaras with their, big, their natural sound, you can't mix those headphones together in a blender and make it come out good, but these fucking did it. So anyway, I'm, I'm glad this review is over because now I get to take these back upstairs and put them on the Honey. And actually use them like on my in my day to day because I had to like bring them down here and really just like I like, pay attention to this. you got to study you got to get the words right because it's exactly what you're old man about many you're a man of many words not a man of few words fuck those guys I'm a man of many 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 words and I hope you heard them all or at least enough to make you convinced that you fucking need these because they're gonna be sold out and I'm hoping that I did not oversell them today that's the worry. I can undersell something, but as soon as you oversell something, you're done. So uh, if every pair of headphones, and I don't I didn't get like a special serial number, I got like numbers 86. So if we're going to 86 the stock of these real good, if you get these, please come back to this video, comment, go to Hi-Fi Guides, find the post for these, comment. Because I'm only one man, one crazy man in his basement with anime girls and shit. But if there's a thousand people who after like a year have bought this headphone because of my review or because of someone else's review, and then you found this one, I want to know if I'm crazy. Because these are the best headphone I've ever heard. The end. And for what I want out of a headphone, which is just pure pleasure, this is it. I don't have to do any more reviews. Now it's just going to be, it's literally fucking downhill. It's like January fucking 5th I'm recording this. And it's just all downhill from here. The whole year is going to be, woo. time to get into IMs, Bluetooth headphones, and more bidets. Anyway, I've been Zeos Pantera. I've already pimped my Patreon and subscribe star, which for $5, which is real important. You get to see these videos early because stock's going to be a problem. 
But if you're a five dollar patron or subscribe star subscriber, you get to see this video early and hear me rant randomly into the fucking oh, literally yelling in the corner of my basement in an empty house. Just remember that. Um, so yeah, five dollars gets you see reviews early, participate in the yard sale. Um, I think Lin Sol's letting me keep this set. And uh, even if they said no, I'm like, well, but what about all this money I'm handing you? But this will not be ending up in the yard sale. There'll be others. I mean, I have my walls pretty full right now. So, I mean, do I have to sell something? No, because I'm never taking this off my fucking upstairs desk where I live. Th these, if I had to put them on, put them right there, literally on that, right in the fucking dead center is where they'd go. Anyway, um, yes, yard sale. First at 10th of every month, I sell a bunch of shit. See the videos early for $5. For $10, you get into the behind the scenes private Telegram chat with, uh, we had a record 331, 32 people in there over the three months. It builds for three months, then we wipe it, and only people who are current patrons can get back in. But uh, that's amazing. That's my mortgage is paid by the $10 patrons. So thank you guys for doing that. I like living here. Let's keep that going. And as far as everything else goes, uh, it's the same benefits on the Subscribestar as Patreon. Uh, I will say Subscribestar has much more racy stuff in their adult section than Patreon. Patreon's like, ooh, boobs. But Subscribestar is like adult.subscribestar. Man, just, they do not give a shit what you put there. Just a warning. Um, yeah. We done? Oh, I've also, before we left, I've enabled annual sub, uh, patronage. I can't do it on Subscribestar yet, but you can pay for a whole year up front on Patreon and save 15%. Just like Geico. You say 15% or more on your Patreon insurance. I'm done. That wallpaper, which I, I don't know if it's good enough. I don't know if there's a wallpaper good enough for these, but I use that one. So enjoy it. That's a download down there. And um, yeah, I, 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 I didn't think I had it in me to do this review, honestly, like the full thing. But all you got to do is wear them for like a half hour and the words fall out of your head. Bob Marley, punky reggae party. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs>